Hi folks and welcome back. So between episodes I did a little bit of housekeeping. I went back over to our uh, rich native copper mine and grabbed a bit more copper since we're going to be needing that to make the bronze. And I went over to where we found that limestone and I excavated a bunch of rocks from there so we can have a good supply of flux when we need it. And what was the other thing I did? Oh yes, and I, I made myself another copper shovel. So along those lines, one of the things I forgot to take notice of before, if we look at my, uh, my levels here, <clears throat> I now have a level under smithing. And so this little bit here represents the hammerhead that we made in the last episode. as well as the uh the shovel shovel head that i made uh in between episodes you'll notice i now also have some prospecting time here because uh that was from when i was <clears throat> when i was uh mining out this copper here i used the prospector's pick just to actually just for exactly this purpose just to get a little bit of experience into my uh my prospecting bar i didn't really need it but anyway, in that time that I spent doing that, that was a couple of in-game days, so we have a bunch more crops here that are ready to be harvested. Now, normally, I have quite a bit of food. Here, I'll show you. Well, I guess it's not that visible, really. Well, yeah, I know it is. I have quite a bit of food, so all this grain here can become bread, and then inside this vessel, I got tomatoes, beets, and a ton of lemons, and squashes, and green beans, more lemons, and some onions there. So I actually have quite a bit of food right now. So given that, um, the most sensible thing to do would be to leave the crops on in the ground as long as possible because they don't spoil or go bad. The worst that'll, or at least nothing bad will happen to them until the temperature goes too low for them. And we're still pretty good here, right? Like if we look at, uh, oh no, I have to go to F3. That's right. That's where the temperature is. What does it say our temperature is? Um, yeah, it's, it's not great <laughs> it's an, it's not burningly hot which i wouldn't expect for autumn anyway but it's still you know 8.9 degrees or so so we could just leave it in the ground for as long as possible but we do want to get it out before that first frost frost hits otherwise we'll lose it um so that would be the sensible thing to do but um i'm kind of i'm always kind of keen to harvest stuff and also i want to see if we get any extra seeds you know, see if we get any bonus out of being uh, being adept at agriculture. Oh, and let's have a look at this too. So we'll see that the bar right now is right lined up with the uh, with the riser on the D and adept. So let's see what happens here. We'll harvest. This is going to be oats here. Uh, we harvested two, and we only got two seeds. Okay. Uh, this is barley. Just got the one. And we only got one seed. So far, I'm not getting any extras. This um, this is a, a red or yellow pepper. Don't remember which one. Yellow pepper. It's pretty close, but it's not quite there yet. Uh, this is wheat. Again, we just got one for one. Uh, the last one that's ready. <laughs> Still don't know if that one's ready. I'll just wait a while. Is this garlic. And again, so I still didn't get any extra seeds. Ah, oh, well, that's disappointing. <clears throat> now, I used to think that... I'll come around here and get my hoe first. I used to think that garlic and onions were both very fast growers. But I was looking in the wiki, and that's true for onions, but uh, onions are very fast. But um, the garlic is just listed as average, I think. Or is this as fast? Anyway, so I'm just going to plant it. Since I just planted the uh, the onion uh, a couple of game days ago, I'm going to replant the garlic anyway and just see whether I can get it in before winter hits. Oh, and the other one that I hadn't realized is that green bean is fast. And I did find another green bean plant while I was out there, so we might as well get that growing too. See if we can squeeze that one in before winter comes. <clears throat> okay. And that's about it. So that's it for the stuff here at home. 
So what we want to do next is uh, go and get some Cassiterite, which is tin ore, so that we can start making bronze. We can move up a tier to the next metal. So we have a Cassiterite mine. Let's uh, get to the ores. Where are the ores? There they are. Get to the ore display, rather. Oh, I haven't come... <laughs> Uh, I've been lazy, I marked it. We have a Cassiterite mine, or we found some Cassiterite, rather, lying on the ground here. So there's going to be ore under the ground somewhere. So this is nice and handy to us. So I'm going to head over there, uh, pick up a few things that I need, and head over there, and then I'll bring you back in, and we can talk about mining and using the prospector spec. See you in a minute. Okay, so here we are uh, with some Cassiterite. So I'll start in the usual way. Usual? Have I? Oh, I don't actually think I've done this yet here, have I? No, that's right, because the... Oh, I might have done it for one of the copper mines, but the copper mine, main copper mine we're using is a open pit mine. So we haven't had to... didn't need to dig down. But I start looking for the, uh, the Cassiterite on the ground, and I mark where I see it. Oh, Dobbin. Okay... See me over this way. None over this way. Okay, let's come down over here. Have a look. Oh, wow, yeah, I think that's a stone I put down earlier when I found the first one. I didn't have any thatch blocks on me. Oh, well, that's actually more over here. Wow. Okay. So it's a little probably located somewhere under this hill here behind me. And more here. And here. Okay. Is that kind of is that goddess, or is there more of it? Oh, there's more over here. So it's actually spread out fairly widely. Now, on the plus side, that probably means it's a large deposit, which is good. But on the minus side, it probably means it's not very concentrated. Ooh, carrots! Oh, we'll have to do something about those later. Those are good to have. They're nice and hardy. Oh, wow, there's like some way over here, too. Maybe there's multiple deposits. I guess that's probably the case. There are multiple deposits. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I might get enough just... <laughs> might get enough considerate just from uh, the stuff that's on the surface. And then we get into some copper here. Okay. Check out this way. Okay, uh, there are doubtless some others hiding among the tree. Yeah, like over here. But that should be good enough to for a start. So we've got them there, there, and up there. Well, you know what? Well, first thing I should do actually is see if I can detect it from above ground here. So what I'm doing is I'm right-clicking with a pro prospector's pick, pro pick for short. And now the prospector's pick it does have a chance for false negatives. Like it'll tell you found nothing even though there is something to be found. But it never gives you a false positive. So if it does tell you, hey, I found something, then there really is something there. Okay, so that was, uh, that was enough t checks and not finding anything that it could they couldn't all possibly have been false positive so what it, wherever this deposit is it's uh not in the top layer of rock or at least it's not within i, th I think it's 12 uh 12 squares 12 blocks that the uh, pro pick has a range of so since it looks like it's under this hill let's go down as low as we can go here and 
and start digging. So this is very similar to the uh, core sample that I took. Uh, I think it was just last episode, no, two episodes ago. Where, you know, I just dig down too deep or too wide hole. Da, 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 da. Okay. Except this time, hopefully, I should start finding something once I get down far enough on the prospector's bay. Okay. So, nothing so far. Okay, so I'm going to start digging down here, and uh, I'll bring you in when I find something. Okay, so you can see in the message that came up there that uh, nothing there, nothing there, but we found traces of gabbro cassiterite. Now traces is the smallest amount you can find. Nothing there. We found traces starting up about there. Okay. So we'll advance down and see if we can get a stronger signal. If it fades away, then we'll know we're off center it's not directly below us so go a bit deeper and uh, see where we end up okay now we're up to a large sample wonder where that started small nothing large okay so we just started in on that there one two three we're three into the large range. Let's see if we can get any better. Oh, I'm out of uh, ladders. All right, I'll have to go make some ladders. Be back in a bit. Okay, yeah, now we've got a very large sample. Uh, very large there. And large there. So it's very large starts here. Um, we're at height 102, so one, two, three. So it starts at three above 102, so it starts at 105. 105, all right, let's see how far it goes. Very large is the largest we get. Okay, now we're down to large. Where did that happen? It was always oh, very large there. Very large. Yeah, and then it goes large. So we just hit large. And where are we now? We're at 65. Wow, that's a big span. 105 to 65. So that's 40. So the middle of the deposit would be at 20. I bet you there's multiple deposits and I'm in between them. I'm <laughs> passing through them both or past them both. But anyway, let's assume right now it's one big deposit. Uh, so like I said, that's a span of 40. The middle is up 20, so we want to go back up to 85. Okay. Let's uh, make ourselves some cobble. Okay. One, maybe a few more. And five, there we go. 
Huh, that just happens to conveniently be where one of these is. Actually, it's not quite convenient enough for my taste. Let's uh, move them down one. Oops, I meant... Oh, well, that just took out all my... <laughs> I uh, just took out all my torches down there. I meant to put smooth gabbro here. Let's put a torch in here. Okay. Now, so we know vertically, assuming it's one big deposit, we know vertically we're in the middle of the deposit. So now let's start going off to a one side and uh, see how we do. some uh, logs. I don't have any with me, right? Right. Okay. Back in a bit. Okay. Let's put a log in there so it doesn't come down on me. So I'm going to dig this way in this direction for a little bit. One, two. And I'm looking to see if the uh, if that very large tapers off to a large. I mean, eventually it will. So I'm looking to see when it tapers off to just a large. So I'll uh, I'll bring you back when I get to that point. Okay, now we're down to a large sample. Let's just fill this thing in here. Uh, we can use cobble for this since it's the end of the line. All right, so where did that start happening? Very large, very large, large. Okay, so where we're standing right now, that's at said minus 256. So, we. And this is Z minus two thirty three fifty six, so twenty three in that direction. So it's probably not the other side of it. Probably isn't too far in this direction. So let's have let's go looking for it. Same deal. I'll bring you back when I'm there. Uh, okay, we're down to traces here. Medium, large, large, very large. Okay. So very large starts at minus 215. And at the other end, it was... What was it? Two. Oh, forgot already. So it's 215 here. Let's uh, put a torch here to mark it. I thought it was 255. Oh yeah, it was 255. Hmm. For some reason that didn't that didn't seem long enough. Or 256 rather. Right? Yep. Okay, so 215 to 256, that's 41. Uh, so the middle is 21 back, which is 235. I wonder if that's right where we have the ladder. Not quite. Damn close. <laughs> All right. So that's the Z direction. Now it's time to see where we are in the Y. Or rather in the X direction. So we're centered vertically. We're centered in Z. And we still haven't hit the OR yet. So it's got to be off to one side in the X direction.
Ah, uh, there we go. We found some considerate. That's it there. Cool. Okay, and I think that was some considerate at the end as well. Oh, and there's some here too. All right, well, we'll work it out. Yeah, it's all around us now. Just run out of wood. Okay. Okay, let's uh, get these guys up here. Okay, got some more wood. Let's have a look here because yeah, I thought there was some off to the sides here. Let's get this stuff dealt with. Alright. Four, fold those in. Now we can take this out without everything coming down on top of us. some light in here, eh? And this guy here. Okay, so I'm going to mine a bunch of this stuff out. You've seen me mine the copper, so this isn't going to be particularly exciting. Is that... Uh... Yeah, let's consider it there, too. So I'll mine a bunch of this out, and then meet you back at the house. Well, it's uh, raining again. Big surprise. I've got six full stacks of Considerite. It's uh, just a regular size, so it isn't rich, it isn't poor. That's fine. We don't need a lot of it. You, it's When you make bronze, it's or brass, yeah, bronze, sorry. <laughs> it's mostly copper. You know, copper's the majority of it anyway, so just need a portion of, of uh, tin. But you can see there's still lots of it left down here, so we've, uh, we're doing fine. All right, 
So let's go back and make some bronze. Oh, one other thing I meant to point out here. So when we were when we were in the garden, I would start looking at my uh, uh, my agriculture skill before I harvested all those crops, and it was started out under the D. So I forgot to check to see how it had gotten to. So after harvesting, what was it like? One, two, three, four, five, six crops. I think after six crops, we've come up this much. So that's not bad. And the other thing is, so our prospecting has gotten up higher from all the prospecting I did to find our way here. But if you just look where it is now, it's kind of midway in the E in prospecting. So if you just want to ramp it up fast, just, you know, when you're down in your mind, just quickly do these things that give results. It only goes up when you get a, a result other than not found. Like, see, there's a found nothing interest. That won't increase your, um, your skill level. But these all will found Gabbro. So you can click right, or found Considerate rather, Gabbro Considerate. If you click right on the ore, it'll, you won't get any false negatives. You'll, it'll always tell you when you click right on it. And that all increases your, uh, increases your skill level. Um, but you can only do each block once. So... Like, I couldn't just keep sitting here hitting this block over and over again to increase it. It's each new block that you prospect. So we go and we look at it now. Ah, it hasn't moved. So this is definitely a change from the old TFC. That would have brought it up to maybe around the, between, around the T or whatever. So I don't know what it's looking for here. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go back up top and uh, in the house we can get together and listen to the rain. I can get watered up and fed up again and we can start working on bronze. Oh, look how slow I'm moving because I'm thirsty. I'm like all the way down to zero, so I'm going to start taking damage soon. Okay, let's get this out of here and get ourselves hydrated. <sighs> okay, I'll pre you back in a bit. Okay, so I've taken care of all the little odds and ends, and now we want to start making some bronze. So we're going to have to make that in the pit kiln, just like we did with copper. Um, but we need to know the right ratio. So this is uh, just enough items, I think mod but anyway so in here if we type bronze look for bronze ingot unshaped bronze unshaped nickel where's the bronze in here unshaped bronze okay so the ratios we want 88 to 92 percent copper. See, it's almost all copper, and 8 to 12 percent tin. So, if we shoot for about 10 percent tin, somewhere around there, uh, plus or minus two percent on either side of tin. Cool. Now, so for that, we're going to need to make a bronze anvil. We'll need. 14 double, or sorry, 7 double ingots, which is 14 single ingots, so we'll need 1,400 units of bronze for that. Um, we're going to want to make some tools as well. So let's say uh, a pick, shovel, I need a new scythe, uh, axe, prospector's pick is almost done, so I need that as well. Um, I won't bother making a new sword. We'll wait until we've got iron. So maybe about five more. So we were, what, 1,400? So let's make it 2,000. All right. So can we get to 2,000 units? 
I don't think so. 560, 560, and 560. Take us to 15. That'll take us to 1680. 1680. Okay, so let's see if I've got this straight. 560 plus 560 is 1120 plus 200, 1320, uh, 1845. 200 over 1845 is a little less than one ninth, which is a little under 11%, so that should work. Famous last words. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Yeah, I should. Uh, Seen these before, I should do a couple more. Oh, I need another uh, uh, another one of these things, fresh water jet, because sooner or later one of these is going to break. So, let's do another one of those. And... Anything else? Oh yeah, I can, um, um, we don't need it yet, but just for the future, where's a stick? Oh, I got a stick here. This is a spindle head. Eventually when we can do some cloth, we'll need one of those, but. As I'm at a loss for what else I would want to make right now. Will you throw that in there? Okay. The eight straw, the eight logs. And now we try and start the fire. We didn't start the fire, but we're still trying. There we go. Now we started the fire. Thank you, Billy Joel. Okay, you can go in there, you can go in there. Um, right. And then when that's done, we've got the coal, charcoal here. Kiln to keep it warm. We've got the anvil to make the ingots and the double ingots on. Oh, my light went out. That must mean this light here is out. This one should still be on it. Yeah. Oh, let's go check our garden again. No idea. Okay, so these potatoes are done. So what do you think, guys? You think I'll get more than one seed from it? Let's see. Nope, just one. Got two potatoes, though. I think that's normal to get two potatoes. And yeah, potatoes take a long time, so we won't bother trying to uh, replant them this season. Who has room? You have room. Well, I guess I might as well grind these guys. Well, not grind them. I think I said grind earlier too, but just remove the chaff. Do, 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 do. So separate the green from the chaff, or from the straw, or however you want to say it. Okay, that stuff will keep for a while. Like if we look here, it's like 46 days. Yeah, that'll take us through most of winter. Okay, I don't need the straw for anything. We're getting a nice little collection of gems here, so why don't we create a jewelry box somewhere? 
There, that's a good place for it. There, you know, it's a hidden, hidden location, right? No one will find it there yet. Okay. We've got chipped garnet, chipped tourmaline, opal, garnet, emerald. Like I say, they're not of much use, but yeah, I, I collect them anyway. Okay. All right, well, that's going. The other thing we can do is make up some barrels. Uh, I'm not sure which we're going to do here. That's Sequoia. Oh, I don't have any Douglas fir here right now. Ah, I'll use maple then. Oh, it just went out. Okay, let's take these three guys here. Chew them up. And let's see how many barrels that makes for us. One more than I want right now. Okay. And our barrels, we want them to go right beside the water because we're going to be continually filling them up with water. Where's the third one? There it is. You still running? You're still running. Let's go get our bucket. Uh, no, do I, I don't remember in uh, TNG. Whoops, do I make lime water? Let's grab some flux here. So lime water is made with flux, but I can't remember whether you make the lime water first. No, okay. Oops. So I think we dump it in here then. Okay. Let's see, is that enough? Probably need ten. Oh, well, actually, I can uh, I can look on the uh, the stuff here. Lime water. Five hundred. Millibarrels per flux. Okay. And what's the quantity of this? We have 1,000. Oh, so I need 20. All right. Well, all right. Let's give him his flux back and let's make some new flux. I'm sure we can afford to do it. Oh, hammer's here. Just went out. All right, let's hurry here. There we go. Instant. We have our lime water. Da, 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 da. Okay, I put twenty in there in case you're wondering. All right. It's, don't want any wandering in on me. All right, now I got all this other crap in my inventory right now. There's the bronze. Um, let's get everything else out of the way. Okay, and I'm going to need a bunch more of these. Oh yeah, that one's still hot, so it won't stack with the others yet. But these will. Okay. And now we're just going to sit here and pour out our 18 bronze ingots, and then we'll have some left over. It's 
so we'll partial link it at the end. Yeah, if you bring the mage to bring the uh, the vessel into view while it's pouring, it does this little uh, it has a little epileptic fit sometimes. Uh, not fast enough to catch it. Um, oh. oh, that's a problem. I don't have enough uh, vessels or enough um, blah blah blah. Molds, ingot molds. Don't have any sitting anywhere else to it by accident. Uh, one's in use there. No, okay, well, that means I'll have to reheat the, uh, remelt the bronze in the forge later. The stuff that's in the vessel. Alright, let's see how many of these we can catch in time. Do, 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 still liquid. Solid. It's probably about as many as we'll be able to get to do if we can actually indeed do them. Put this in my hand. Can weld, can weld, right? Oh, shift. I have to shift. And let's. Uh, I don't have enough free hands. Shift. And now it sounds just bright red. Oh, we just managed to squeeze two in, so the rest we would have to do by uh, the same way we did with the coppers warming up the forge. So there's not going to be anything new about that. So I'll go ahead and make the uh, remaining uh, five double ingots there and uh, bring it back in when we ready to actually make the anvil. See you then. Okay, it took a little bit of dancing around, but I finally managed to get the rest of the ingots poured out of that, uh, of that vessel, so it's emptied out now. And that left me with this partial one here, which we'll deal with some other time. And I've got my seven double ingots, so now we make, we step up the next level to the Bronze Age. Alright, grab the flux and the hammer out of there. Flux and hammer. And let's make ourselves, uh, I guess, a pro pick. Who knows? Oh, I need to take them out of the molds first. And that's the partial. Okay. Oh, this guy here's faint red. He's even further along. Okay, Propic. There we go, and that's bend, draw punch bend draw punch so I have to go that's too much B 
Beauty. I got that one a lot faster. Okay, who's next on our hit parade? Whoops. Our first bronze tool. Oh, looky there. It wants to tell us what we already know. I guess the next one will be the pickaxe since it's well actually I still have another copper pickaxe over here so I'll use that up first. Uh it's got a shovel there, spare shovel. Oh scythe, yeah, yeah, I def I need a new scythe. Uh, we can free up some space here. Okay, this one's going to be a scythe, eh? There we go. Bend, draw, hit. There we go. Oh, I'm doing really well on these ones. Hoo -hoo. Okay, what's he going to be? Uh, first, let's put this guy on his stick. Let's see what our numbers look like, too. Oh, smithing slowly creeping up here. So I've got the extra shovel. Oh, we'll do an axe, I guess. Uh, axe. Upset, hit, punch. I have to make sure that if there's no hammer in the anvil, then I need one in my hand here. Okay, upset, upset, hit. Okay, so I need to be quite a bit further away than that. Upset, hit, punch, upset, hit. No. Upset, punch. There we go. These are all going much faster than that first one I did off in copper. Man, it took forever. Uh, so that's the axe head. Hmm. I guess we can mount the axe head on a... Uh, Shaft as well. And what's this going to be? Actually, let's just have a look and see what we got. Scythe, hoe, lamp, no, chisel, javelin, axe, hammer, shovel, knife, pickaxe. Yeah, so let's do the pickaxe. And he is a draw bend punch. Okay, so. Draw bend punch. 
little too far away. There we go. I finally got it. Now, if I had a good memory, well, except that was too long a sequence, but what you're really supposed to do is, you know, start these anew until you figure out what the recipe is from the start and then, you know, write it down or record it somewhere so you can just get it as soon as you need it next time. Oh, I need a few more uh, torches, so let's make a few. Okay, that'll do us. Okay. Well, that's it for the day, or for this episode, rather. Uh, you can see that most of the uh, the uh, experimental forests has come in. There's still a few of them to go. Uh, we'll give them some time to see if those other ones come in. It may be that they can't come in now. The other ones have grown up around them, but we'll see. We'll wait and see for a bit. And I'm not sure what we're going to do next episode, but by the time that by the time that episode rolls around, I will know, and I hope to see you here for it.